I think a lot of people trying to get into web development usually starts learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript first simply because they are the building blocks of web development. Tutorials, both free and paid, usually starts usually start with those uh, lessons. And once you know enough of them, well, you can actually call yourself a front-end web developer and even get a job as a front-end web developer. Now, becoming one also entails you having to choose of the frameworks available. Now, uh, my favorite teacher who is Brad Traversy has released his video already about the 2020 web developer roadmap and it includes the choices available right now for aspiring web developers. Personally, I choose React simply because of its popularity and also because it is made by Facebook. Other popular frameworks are Vue and Angular, so probably after React, I'll have to take a look either of these two simply because they're also popular and just to make myself flexible. But for now, let's learn React. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is another day of my web dev journey. The last time I uploaded was more than a month ago, which is actually my 31st birthday. And though I promise to be more consistent in learning and uploading my progress, life happens and I actually gave birth to my daughter. And she just turned a month. And with that, I thought uh, I have energy again <laughs> to, uh, to begin uploading my videos so now I'm back in business and let's get started what I actually would like to discuss today is the react roadmap react developer roadmap that I found online it's, it is a pretty good resource and if you're a bit lost of the next lesson or topic that we need to get into then this is a good map I'm sharing the link on the description down below if you want to see the roadmap okay so most courses in Udemy that I bought in the last years starting 2016 actually most of them are not finished simply because I get like overwhelmed and I, if you watch my other videos my my studying is really on and off it's an on and off relationship with the web developer um goal but we're still kicking so i'm sharing the roadmap because if someone out there wants a learning buddy or i just want to increase my network of web developers and so come and join my channel and let's learn together and be the web developer we are to now on the React Developer Roadmap, this is 2019, but yep, I think this is still applicable for the for the coming year 2020. You can check here the legends for yourself. Personal must know, so good to know possibilities. So yeah, it's it's a it's a huge curriculum actually. For the first one, HTML, CSS, learn the basics of HTML, semantic HTML, dividing page into sections and structuring the DOM properly. Yeah, I can confidently say I'm good at this already. Like uh, using div and section and header and footer and so uh, all those kinds of stuff. With CSS, learn the basics of CSS, check, grid and flex box, check, responsive web design and media queries, check, and that is thank you to Brad's H modern HTML and CSS course. See the link down below if you want to see that, and also I got initial review there. But I just finished the course actually recently, and I will make a video on my full review of that course, who is, that, who is it for? 
and what are the pros and cons of that course so we'll shout for that now js basics i'm i have learned this before but it is a difficult topic compared to html and css and so i am relearning it with my other video i mentioned i will be taking brad's uh, javascript course but it is a little bit um not beginner friendly like it, it is already um a little bit advanced like application and i need serious review on this topic so what i did is take uh called stills and stephen greider's course on javascript which they just released literally like a week ago it is a great course so far and i will be making video on that as well watch out for that in case you're interested okay so why did i choose uh cold you know cold and brad are like let's say avengers <laughs> i know that would be bad an analysis or i don't know anyway they're avengers in the sense like if either iron man or or spider-man releases a movie there's this feeling that i need to see that movie i need to watch it as soon as possible and that's how i feel whenever they release new course or they have this course that i need to like they have a course on a particular topic that i need or want to learn i will just usually search for the topic and find their names you know, whichever course has their name that will be the one I will be choosing and so general development skills among those that are listed here this is what I'm actually a little bit afraid of oh by the way the JS basic I also have the course of Jonas Shetman I don't know if I've pronounced that correctly but Jonas is also a, a good teacher they he provides courses with great topics mm, but uh, just personal personally i still prefer cult if he has one so yep for js basic syntax and basic operations dom manipulation hoisting ajax ECMAScript 6 so back when i learned javascript the first time in 2016 there's no ECMAScript. so basically everything that i've learned before is not applicable anymore that's why I need to relearn JavaScript. And then general development skills, uh, Git version control. Thanks also to Brad's course. He, we, he covered not too much, but enough for me to be able to use Git. I also have other course that I bought online. For this, uh, I'll put the name of the course here I've just forgot the name of I think it's shift I forgot the first name anyway and after that HTTP HTTPS protocol learn to search for solutions terminal usage data structures and algorithms design patterns I think all of this are in that course by I think his name is Brad also Brad shift yeah so he covered all of this plus more then the next one would be a react in UDB there are two teachers that are very popular at least in the online articles articles that I read it is Stephen Greider which is called partner in the, in the in their latest JavaScript course and Max Maximilian never mind the last name okay it's difficult to pronounce uh, so Max I chose Max's course. I forgot the reason why. I just bought it this year, last March, which when I actually found out I was pregnant, and so I stopped learning because of several personal reasons. And so let's get in. Let's get back to this road now. React has a lot of stems, so the first one will be build tools here, and then styling. Let's talk about styling CSS processors. And thanks again to Brad Traverse's course and now I understand more of this SAS although I've taken this before with my other with my other Udemy courses so 
yep i have other reference in case i want to see how others discuss this topic css preprocessors so that is checked sas is the most popular so no need to learn less and stylus i also see in web developers uh, job description hiring they usually prefer sas and then css frameworks this is not a, a must know but just a good to know so i already know bootstrap back in the days when i first started learning it's still bootstrap 3 and when i get back on track to learn again it's already bootstrap 4 and so and again my learning is not valid anymore i mean it's still valid but there's so many changes it's simply because uh, maybe the major reason is like the implementation of flexbox and css grid which is okay because it improved the workflow actually coding is easier but i just have to relearn them and then i'm also interested in learning materialize and bulma so we'll see if I have extra time, I can probably learn this. CSS ar architecture is BEM. Um, I've taken this before, the BEM. Uh, and CSS modules. I think BEM is also discussed with the Brad Shift course. So yep, I'm already complete with these things. And well, it's a must know, so good for me. CSS in JS, these are not really must know, so I'll skip on that. Next will be the build tools, package managers. This is included in Brad's course, but he did not discuss enough of it. What I would suggest is the Cold Steel's web development course, Cold Steel's web development bootcamp course. He discussed this um, in a more uh, expounded way that is even correct and yeah this is also briefly discussed in Brad Schiff's course so yeah they, they, I think I have a pretty good lineup of courses and then webpack this is also in Brad Schiff's course so I just need Cold Steel's JavaScript course Brad Traverse's modern HTML and CSS course and then Brad Schiff's uh, course I forgot the name I think it's modern workflow yes I remember npm scripts no I don't really know this yet and the rest of this I guess are already in Max's react course so I actually just did four four course basics so there you have it Aside from those four courses, I would also suggest the Jonas Advanced CSS course. I think the, it, since it is the building block, it's, if we have vanilla JavaScript, we also have um, CSS, Jav CSS vanilla, vanilla CSS. So it is a good course to take as well, the Jonas Advanced CSS course. So I just want to mention, uh, aside from this Udemy courses, online courses, I also want to touch on Code Wars, which is a good resource to practice JavaScript. A friend of mine or a family friend of mine mentioned that uh, scores that you get on this website, on the code, on the Code Wars, on the Code Challenges on JavaScript, can also qualify as like a part of your resume it uh, it is a valid um, way to, sh to show your employers what your skills skill levels are in JavaScript aside from that uh, CSS tricks is also a good resource so you can practice more of CSS I guess if you get good in HTML and CSS and then JavaScript is also just a way of manipulating the codes that you have in CSS actually so yeah it, i think if if i get if i'm able to nail these topics then i can probably call myself a full fetch but 
I get Jimmy whenever I say those. There you go. So this is my React Developer Roadmap. Currently, my goal is to finish this, finish them by February. But if my with my learning pace, it seems still impossible, especially with my kid calling me now, even before finishing the video. But still, I want to give myself a deadline so I stay motivated and hopefully I can finally graduate in this tutorial purgatory and of course get a web developer job. If you're in the same pace or if you're in the same uh, place that I am right now or maybe a senior developer who wants to share the insights on if I'm doing the right thing, if I'm doing, if I'm following the right path then please reach out uh, i'm always welcome I, i'm very open to suggestions and i just really want to expand my network as i have almost zero web developer friend i hope you can join me on this web developer journey thanks for watching see you in the next one